At the present Zhuhai Air Show, China debuted the SLC 18P band Active Phased Array Radar to counter space threats. On the Chinese microblogging platform Weibo, the radar system quickly caught the attention of internet users in China, with several netizens dubbing it an anti Starlink radar. Analysts believe the radar can target low Earth orbit satellites because it is primarily intended for space target surveillance. LEO satellites orbit the Earth at a distance between 500 and 2,000 kilometers. For gathering intelligence and monitoring the combat, several ELA orbiting satellites are essential. They have gradually established themselves as the cornerstone of powerful nations' remote intelligence collecting capacities. Therefore, countries all over the world are looking for efficient weapons to interfere with their enemy's satellites. The Chinese anti-satellite radar was developed expressly to identify and monitor space threats in order to achieve this goal. One of the most potent radar systems on display at the current air show is unquestionably the SLC-18P. According to reports, the system uses a solid-state AESA system. It is capable of searching for and acquiring space targets like low-orbit satellites, measuring their movements over time, computing their orbits, and forecasting their movements. The system has the ability to gather data for multiple target tracking measurements. Despite the fact that many Chinese internet users seem to be dubious about the system's capabilities, some have cautioned Elon, Elon Musk's Starlink satellites, saying, be careful, Starlink. To put it simply, the development of such radars demonstrates China's military awareness of the growing space dangers, particularly those related to Starlink. The Starlink system, a network of LO satellites owned and operated by SpaceX, a private U.S. aerospace company, is causing Chinese military strategists growing amounts of concern. The Ukrainian forces have already destroyed numerous Russian military assets in the ongoing conflict with the aid of the U.S.-supplied Starlink. If China invades Taiwan, it could want to avoid a similar situation. China may turn off GPS during an invasion to hinder Taiwanese navigation. In this case, though, Starlink satellites would be able to pinpoint any location on the battlefield with an accuracy of 8 meters. The Chinese government is also concerned about the growing cooperation between SpaceX and the U.S. military. For example, SpaceX and the U.S. Department of Defense signed a contract in 2020 to develop new technology based on the Starlink platform, including delicate instruments that can find and track hypersonic missiles. The U.S. missile defense systems could receive guidance from this network of satellite sensors on where to point their missiles, thwarting any Chinese missile attacks. The founder of SpaceX, Elon Musk, is well-liked in China. But in 2021, two Starlink satellites came dangerously close to the Chinese space station, drawing criticism for Musk and his businesses. Many Chinese military researchers expressed their concerns, contending that if SpaceX's Starlink satellites threaten national security, the country needs the ability to block or destroy them. Researchers estimated that a Starlink connection would increase the data transmission speed of U.S. military drones and stealth fighter jets by more than 100 times. It makes sense that the Chinese defense industry is focusing on developing such weapons in light of these concerns. The Radar System's Technical Features the radar was created by the 14th Research Institute of the China Electronics Technology Group Corporation. The CETC is credited with founding China's national electronics and information sector, developing the nation's radar industry, and developing sophisticated, large-scale electronic devices. The radar operates in a lower frequency band and makes use of a cutting-edge all-solid-state active phased array system. It provides exceptional benefits like a wide search range and multi-target capability. The system can function in any kind of weather. Due to system design and effective station deployment, the SLC-18 is also said to be able to perform all-around surveillance of transit satellite targets and evaluate space targets. Furthermore, based on radar tracking information and target orbit determination, satellite transit projections can be made in advance, giving ground staff enough time to implement the necessary defenses. Overall, by enhancing China's capacity to block an adversary's satellite, the new radar system may aid the country in achieving its ambition to become a major space power. That's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on our list? Let us know in the comments section below. And make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates.